Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with another unboxing video, and I know that I just filmed one, but this is for a subscription box that I've never unboxed before, and I'm really, really excited about it, and that is an unboxing for the Quarterly YA box. So the lovely people at Quarterly reached out to me and asked me if I would like to do an unboxing of their YA box on my channel, and I gladly accepted because I love doing these unboxing videos, and this box is just super, super cool because it's unlike any of the other ones I've ever unboxed before. So the way that Quarterly works is that they have two different types of boxes. They have an adult literary fiction box and then they have a young adult literary fiction box. And I have the young adult box right here. And the super cool thing about these boxes is that each one is curated by a different author. So the box that I have here I believe is curated by S.J. Kincaid, the author of The Diabolic. Each box includes that author's newest release as well as some books that they have chosen. I believe two more books and then some bookish goodies. And I am just so so excited to open this box up and see what's inside. I think it's just a really cool idea to have an author curate a box that is meant for book lovers and I think it would be wonderful if one of your favorite authors curated a box like that would just be so much fun so I just think that this is such a clever idea and I really just want to open this up now <laughs> but as always of course I will leave all of the information for quarterly linked in the description box if you would like to check it out but without any further ado let's get into opening this up because I'm dying to know what's inside <laughs> all right so all of the tape is cut and now let's see if I can get this opened up why is this so difficult okay there we go Ooh. All right, so the first thing that I'm seeing in here is this little packet. Ooh, this is so cute. This is like a little pin that says uh, bookworm and it's like a dragon uh, sculpture type thing. It kind of looks like a gargoyle holding a book and that's really, really cool. I have no idea what this is related to, but I'm hoping we figure it out as I go along. The next thing in here is this little card for Scythe. It's a book by Neil Schusterman. Never heard about this before. It came out on the 22nd of November, so it's already out. So the next thing is super awesome. This is a signed book plate by S.J. Kincaid. This is really, really cool. I think this is referencing the Diabolic because I recognize the butterfly from the cover. I'm assuming that that book is also in here because it's including her newest release. So this is a really cool addition to this. Okay, and then the last things that were in that little blue packet are a letter from S.J. Kincaid about the box, I'm assuming, and how it was curated and why she chose everything. So I'm going to read this as I go into everything in here and see what she says about it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm seeing in here is one of the books and that is Unwind by Neil Schusterman. I've actually been wanting to read this for a while. I've heard that it's like sci-fi dystopian type of story and I've heard that it's really really good and I'm super super excited about this. I also really like this cover. It's really cool. So from what I know about this book in this dystopian universe, parents can have their children unwound at the age of 18 or between 13 and 18 I believe and what that means is that they take all of that children's organs and transplant them into someone else so essentially that person and lives on and that's just like a really weird weird cool concept to me so I'm super excited about this book and I'm really really happy that this was a pick in this box the next thing that I'm seeing in here is this little packet I don't know what this is yet it says love letter court the royal princess of temptus I don't know what this is I think this is like a card game it says that Love Letter is a game of risk, deduction, and luck for two to four players. Get your Love Letter into Princess Annette's hands while keeping other players' letters away. Powerful cards lead to early gains, but make your target. Rely on the weaker cards for too long and your letter may be tossed in the fire. So I think you have to like win the heart of this princess or something with like Love Letters. That's really funny. This is super cool. I'm gonna like try this out and tell you guys how it is. All right, the next thing I'm seeing in here is one of the other books and that is The Scorpion Rules by Aaron Bow. I've never heard of this book before, but I'm kind of obsessed with this cover. So in the little letter from S.J. Kincaid it says why she chose the Scorpion Rules. She says that it explores a very different system of power and a really cleverly executed scenario set in the future where an unexpectedly likable and frightening artificial intelligence has eliminated war in the world by implementing a grand system of taking hostages from the children of those in power. This is a practice that's employed throughout history and now present in this book set in the future. That is so cool. I am so excited to read this. This sounds like it's gonna be super cool. And a lot of you guys probably know that I'm super into political intrigue in books. And this sounds like it's gonna have a ton of that. And I'm so, so excited. Okay, and the final thing in this box, of course, is S.J. Kincaid's newest novel. And that is The Diabolic. And there's actually a sticky note on here that says, check inside for my personal notes. And it's signed by her. So let's just like take a look inside real quick. So this is like full of sticky notes. 
and they all have her notes on it. That is so, so cool. I am so excited to read this with all of that. Okay, so I really don't have much of an idea of what The Diabolic is about. I know that it's a sci-fi novel, but let's read the inside because I really want to know more about this book. It says, a diabolic is ruthless, a diabolic is powerful, a diabolic has a single task. Kill in order to protect the person you've been created for nothing else. So there's more to that synopsis, but that's all I kind of want to really read about it. I don't want to know too much more. I feel like this is going to be really, really epic, and I just kind of want to go in and be surprised by everything. But that little, like, brief summary sounds like it's going to be really awesome. But I'm also just super stoked about reading this with all of these, like, notes in here. I think it's going to make the reading experience that much more engaging and much more fun, and I just cannot wait. All right, guys, so that is everything that was in this quarterly box. Honestly, this is probably one of the coolest subscription boxes I have ever unboxed because this box is so catered to readers and that's something I absolutely love and appreciate in a subscription box. The fact that you get so much personal stuff from the author, from her notes about her own book in the book as you get to read it, from signed book plates to her recommendations of other books, that is just the coolest thing to me. And getting a different author to do this for every box is just so incredible and it's absolutely unique and unlike any other box I've ever seen so I'm just blown away by this. So a huge, huge thank you to Quarterly for allowing me to do this unboxing. I am absolutely blown away by it and I think that they are doing a wonderful job with their boxes. So let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite item in this month's box or if you're subscribed to Quarterly, let me know what some of your favorite past boxes that they've done have been. But like I said before, I will leave all of the information for Quarterly linked in the description box if you'd like to check them out for yourself. I think these boxes would make great, great Christmas presents for any book lover. So that's definitely something you can put on your list if you're really into this. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!